Earlier renders of the upcoming Galaxy S21 smartphones have been leaked along with their battery capacities and now there's some new information regarding the Galaxy S21 Ultra's camera. According to Ice Universe, the Galaxy S21 Ultra will bring a small improvement over the S20 Ultra in terms of the primary camera. The upcoming S21 Ultra will reportedly use the new ISOCELL HM3 camera sensor with 108 megapixel resolution and 0.8 micron pixels. This newer sensor is claimed to offer 12% better light sensitivity, which will allow the phone to capture slightly more details. It'll also help in capturing better quality images faster in low light conditions. Samsung is also going to drop the 3D time of flight sensor that's on the Galaxy S20 Ultra and will switch the time of flight sensor with laser autofocus on the S21 Ultra, which will help the 108 megapixel sensor focus faster and better in low light conditions and with close up subjects. Samsung already used the laser autofocus on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and it perfectly fixed the autofocus issues that was on the S20 Ultra. It's still not clear if the S21 Ultra will feature a quad camera setup or a penta camera setup because according to OnLeaks, Samsung was quite indecisive regarding the rear camera configuration of the S21 Ultra and the device in final prototype stage just before mass production possibly has five rear cameras. It could be four cameras and the laser autofocus sensor. Either way, there are five sensors and a flash in the camera module of the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Also on the S21 Ultra, Samsung might be following Apple's footsteps with the S21 series. Apple removed the charger and earphones from the iPhone 12 series with the excuse of trying to protect the environment. But Apple is saving about $40 per iPhone with this move. So it's not just about the environment. And despite Samsung and other Android companies making fun of Apple now, they would eventually follow suit and Samsung might be the first. There are rumors that the S21 series will not ship with the charger and earphone in the box, which is plausible, but I doubt they would ship without a charging brick because even their mid-range devices have fast chargers in the box. So removing those from their flagships will make absolutely zero sense. They're most likely gonna ship without the AKG earphones that have been an accessory since the Galaxy S8 was released. And this isn't gonna be that big of a deal because they already shipped their $2,000 Galaxy Fold 2 without an earphone. But shipping without a charger will make no sense. Also, the S21 series is expected to come in cheaper than the S20 series. Which makes a lot of sense because the S20 series was ridiculously priced and didn't perform well in sales. So Samsung is making the right move with the price. Let me know what you think about the S21 series in the comment section below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more tech related videos. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.